Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I like to talk about kit design in Subpack. So before we doing the kit design in Subpack, so we had to know the parameters that we can use to for the kit design. And let's go and see the parameter first before we doing the kit design. So for the pit design parameters, uh, the first parameters is the bottom pit limit, which is the bottom pit that we finish mining there and we will not go further anymore. And the second thing, second parameters is the power or pit slope angle, uh, which is called beta. And normally, so we use 45 degrees and but this is not 45 degrees exactly in the real situation so in the real situation and we will classify based on the rock time or the lithology for example we have many rock ties which is the rock is hard and soft and it's medium hard so the slope angle will be changed maybe 60 to 80 degrees. So the third parameter is the bench height. For the bench height here, I'll use 10 meter. And the bench height here, 10 meters could be the mining bench. But for the final wall, or the bench height for the final wall can be 30 meters or 20 meters if your mining bench is 10 meter normally they will put the final wall to 20 meters but if the mining bench is 15 meters so the final wall could be 30 meters or maybe just leave 15 meters and the four parameters is the burn width the burn width that we will keep or we will leave to protect the falling rock from the above bench so could be 6 meter, 8 meter or 10 meters but in this pit design so I'll use 6 meter only and the run width the run width here I use 15 meters the run width here will be based on the equipment or the for example the dump truck and for the dump truck width, so you are classified based on the equipment that you use to transport the material or the oil and waste from the pit to the crushers, maybe to the waste dump or to the tailing storage. And that will be based on the equipment you use. And these are the main parameters that we need to use for the pit design in Surpack and also in other software it's not in only Surpack other software they still have this parameter the same so let's go to Surpack and here let's come to Surpack here so what I have here is the bottom pit line or bottom pit string so this data set and when you install the software uh, maybe version higher than version 6.5 so you will get this data set from the software also and I have here is the bottom pit line so we can display the point or the marker and so I'm going to use these two points to start my RAM and just measure length from the point first point to the second point is 15 meter right so the run width here I'm going to use 15 meter and if you want to when you do the pit design so don't forget to to show or display the pit design tools here or you can go to the the brink menu bar and just right click and go to the toolbar 
and just tick on the surface surface design so you get these two showing on the menu bar and here just create a new RAM just create just click that and you see the yellow here yellow color here just select the first RAM point and just select first and then select the second RAM point so just put the RAM the name uh, I just put RAM number one and the string for RAM string uh, just leave default and for this RAM time so for the RAM time we had clockwise anti-clockwise and or cut so in this it design so based on the clockwise so going this direction but anti-clockwise is opposite go to this direction so we had that the RAM we start the RAM from these two points so we use the anti-clockwise and the RAM gradient gradient we can use the start from 7, 6 or 7 to 10 or 12 percent but the maximum will be 12 percent so in this trial or in this pit design so I'm going to use 7 and the gradient method the gradient method we had inside edge outside edge and the center of the RAM so it doesn't matter that you choose any of these three so this just show you or just tell you that which method you can to use for the RAM gradient calculation. So the best method uh, that I ever use is uh, the center of the RAM. And define the burn crossing characteristic uh, just exit at press toe, press and toe and neither so you can choose any you can choose crest toe crescent toe or neither and when you do the pit design so in surpack so you can try first thing second third fourth so you will see the difference between each characteristic so for example here i use crescent toe just exit the crescent toe and Burn tapper distance just keep default just 30 30 and the switch back angle is 180 and switch back inner radius just 2.5 and then we finish define the parameters for the the new RAM so just apply and don't forget to set up the slope angle uh, slope angle for yeah, uh, just go to the design and fit design. This is set slope gradient, and you see here. Just put as we as I just talk that I use forty five degrees, right? This is we take on the angle. We have percentage and we have one in x ratio. Just use angle and just apply. By the way, if you do not go to the design. And pit design and you just come to the toolbar here and you see it here right you have the angle here just click that so we have the set the design gradients showing also and just set up 45 so then what we'll do next just to expand that bench height so we we'll do it by manual or uh, bench by bench and just use the two here just you see expand segment by bench height right and just so the bench height that i use is 10 meter the set direction is up and expand right just click apply so we got the ram is the yellow yellow string we got the ram and don't forget that we had the berm right we had the berm so before we do for the next bench we had to expand the berm first 
and the tools that we can use for expanding the berm is here and just six meter right so the file burn width we use six meter I just expand right so you see here uh, the last moment I choose exit at the crescent toe right here is the here is the crest and here's the toe this is the crescent toe so if we don't want we see that if we choose that method so the range will be very narrow so we can we can go back and just edit and just just return back right okay just return and just edit the ram so just come to we see the pencils here with the ram right? just edit and just take on the first so here uh we can use okay just exit at toe right exit at toe or crest so or we can use no burn exit no burn exit for example i just choose no burn exit and just apply so just go back and expand the bench height 10 meter right you see and expand the burn burn with six meter and apply and go for you see no burn exit right so here's the berm so and no exit we keep the rams bigger and it's not narrow as the last moment so just expand the bench high is 10 meter okay 10 meter we had from here we had very big or uh, maybe it's big ram is wide ram is not very narrow so and if you don't want to you see it here is very very width or very wide so you can add it also just uh this time i'm going to add it here and just should maybe exit at toe right okay so expand by boom just expand the boom first then expand the bench height 10 meter right okay 10 meter right now we had three benches already and if you want to create a switch back maybe at this bench or maybe next bench but i will try at this bench so before that if you want to do that so we expand the burn width so you see here we had add switch back so just take on this box and just apply so you see the switch back appear in this portion so then we can go for the bench high and 10 meters right so we had the switch back here switch back here Uh, just return a little bit just return so I just want to explain a little bit more here in the design or maybe the software is like this but in the actual it's not like this so we had to remove the point uh, I am going to choose the I'll select the edit to right okay just drag okay and just remove the point there okay remove move okay in the actual on the real situations must be like this spread it's not i mean like that okay so then we can go for the burn the, the bench high expand just expand the bench height okay so we got the switch back and we got the ram at the switch back right this is must be better 
and here is we do by manual we do bench by bench but if you want to use the auto automatic tool that you want to do maybe 10 benches or 15 benches together and you can use that but don't forget to expand the burn first we do the burn 6 meter okay so right now we're going to use the automatic expand the bench uh, just click on this you see multi multi bench design and just click on that so we select this auto expand by bench height so number of benches how, how many that you want or how many that you need it and I put here 15 the slope angle just 45 and the bench height is 10 meter so you put the burn width 6 meter 6 meter right so don't need to do anything with this part and just click apply okay you see we had we got the pit already start from the bottom and we had the ramps until the surface until the top so we we'll drag the topographies into the graphic and we see it right we had the graph topography and we had the pit so the pit is above the topography and in the actual the real situation so we had to click this portion which is above the topography is out which will be like the real and this is only the design the software so just create the just create the detail for the pit design okay so we got we'll see clearly that we had bottom pit we had the rims coming up up to the surface for the on waste or maybe for the metro transportations to the crushers and to the waste dam or to the talent storage so we we save this and this is that pit design right and just exit the graphic and just draft the pit design again and turbo again so to see clearly we will rename the pit design to all the numbers and which we can see maybe i put seven here so we had the pit design yellow and the topography is gray so you see clearly okay right now we got the pit design and here's the topography and the pit design so we finished the doing the pit design in surpack and just so we got the pit design that we had the rims starting from the bottom pit to the surface or to the top that we can use for the transporting the oil and waste to crusher or maybe to the waste dam and other area and that's all for the pit design today so thank you so much for joining me and watching my video if you had any comments or any question just give me just leave below my video and i will reply you as soon as possible and finally thank you so much don't forget to give me a like share and subscribe to my channel thanks